That's it hasn't all. probably uh, been done because the, the government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of, is full of shit. Tell us about who this person is. Dr. Gonzalez is one of our emergency room doctors at Phoenix Indian Medical Center. And she's a federal employee? Correct. Now you got this guy in room four who got his second dose of vaccine mm -hmm. um, on Tuesday, has been short of breath. And he's got myocarditis. Yes! Oh, this is bullshit. I, and then no, let's see. Probably myocarditis due to the vaccine. Right. But now they're not going to blame the vaccine. Well, and you know what? But he has an obligation to report that, doesn't he? They are not reporting. Right. Because they want to shove it under the, yeah. under the, 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 the mat. What patient was she referring to? She was uh, referring to that patient, that 30-something-year-old patient that had congestive heart congestive failure. Congestive heart failure. And in that particular patient's case, it was not reported. No. The problem in here, they are not doing the studies. People that had it, you right. know, and the people that have been uh, uh, vaccinated, they're not doing any um, antibody testing. It's super fishy. It's not that it hasn't been done, it hasn't been published. <laughs> That's it all. hasn't probably uh, been done because the, the government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of, is full of shit. The government doesn't want to show that the vaccine is full of shit. It's not doing what it, its purpose was. May I see your badges? You're Jody O'Malley. The Department of Health and Human Services. This is a United States government identification. I'm looking at the CDC website. It says that you're required to report adverse events following vaccinations. One of those would be uh, congestive heart failure. That's a huge one. Were there other instances that they, they didn't report? Oh, I've seen dozens of people come in with an adverse reaction. Yeah, it's really sad. She had just come back from surgery from leave. So what are we looking at here? You're looking at me transferring her um, to uh, a higher level of care that could handle her condition. And this is a, co a colleague at your hospital who got sick. She didn't want to take it because of her religious beliefs. And she was coerced into taking it. Why are you choosing to blow the whistle? It's not. What a lot of people would do, they're scared, they're afraid. Are you afraid? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm afraid because my faith lies in God and not man. This is evil at the, the highest level. You have the FDA, you have the CDC that are both supposed to be protecting us. Are you afraid they're gonna retaliate against you? Yeah, I'm a federal employee. What other federal employees do you see coming out? But you put your faith in God. Amen. The government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of shit. The reason you register the people who aren't vaccinated, that's happening there in Germany. I'm going to go to the door instead of one. How much is your booster shot? Don't get the vaccine. She didn't want to take it because of her religious beliefs. She was coerced into taking it. They are not reporting because they want to show it under the mask. Why are you choosing to blow the whistle? Are you afraid? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm afraid. My faith lies in God and not man. My name is Jody O'Malley, and I'm a master's prepared registered nurse. Well, first of all, your hospital is run by HHS, correct? I work for Health and Human Services um, with a Indian Health Services branch for the Native Americans. You, you, these are federal employees. Yes. And we work for the government. So, I mean, the, the main thing is we have to follow. I know. I mean, that's another so thing. I don't know how much longer I'll be here. And the protocols <laughs> here. I know. Are the policies and administrators coming directly from the federal government? Yes. The problem in here, they are not doing the studies. People that had it, you right. know, and the people that have been uh, uh, vaccinated, they're not doing any um, antibody testing. Now you got this guy in room four who got his second dose of vaccine mm -hmm. um, on Tuesday, has been short of breath, Okay, now his BNP is elevated, D-dimer elevated, ALT, Ooh. all his liver enzymes are elevated, his PT, PTINR is He's elevated. He's got myocarditis. Yes! 
all oh, this is bullshit. I and, and now, then let's see. Probably bad card diet due to the vaccine. Right. But now they're not going to blame the vaccine. Well, and you know what? But he has an obligation to report that, doesn't he? Oh, it yes. happened. Right. What is it? 60 days after? If you see anything? Uh, they have got to. But they how many people report. are reporting? They are not reporting. Right. Because they want to shove it under the... Yeah under the, 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 the mat. In this instance with Dr. Gonzalez, what patient was she referring to or without saying she the name? She was uh, referring to that patient that had congestive heart congestive failure. Congestive heart failure. And yeah. in that particular patient's case, it was not reported. No. I'm gonna to have to transfer you to another hospital. Okay. We don't have cardiologists here. And what you're developing is like a congestive heart failure, mm -hmm. okay? And, and that's not good. I don't know where this is coming from. Mm. On July 29th, you had the first COVID vaccine. Mm. And August 19th, you had the second. You know, you don't have COVID. Okay, but you have got a lot of symptoms, mm. you know. Right. And you're developing congestive heart failure. Were there other instances that they... They didn't report? Oh, I've seen dozens of people come in with an adverse reaction. Was one of the ones you saw a 15 year old with blood clots? Yeah, so I was um, just covering a nurse. Um, he's in here with bilateral PEs, but he's fine. And I'm like, okay. So he wasn't on oxygen or anything like that. And I said, was he um, vaccinated? And then she's like, I don't know. So then I looked in the chart and he was. He had the Pfizer vaccine or at the end of July, and he was due for a second dose. So this is essentially two to three weeks later. Most likely cause of hypoxia, unusual PE at this age. Unclear etiology. They don't know how, why he got it. So how do we know that the blood clots, or how do you know that the blood clots are a result of the COVID vaccine? Because this is a 15-year-old, normal weight, healthy child. No reason for him to have a blood clot. It's a shame they're not treating people. I know. Like they're supposed to, like they should. And it, I think they won't take it with us. And how many have you seen that have gotten vaccinated here? That have sick and yeah. side effects? A lot. A lot. Have you seen it too? Yeah. Yes. So and and I'm like, who's, who's writing the bears report? Nobody, because it takes over a half an hour to write the damn thing. Why? The CDC website, it says, that you're required to report adverse events following vaccinations. Is there a policy at the hospital for reporting these complications? No. There has never been any directive sent out on reporting. With this vaccine, we are in stage three clinical trials. Normally, stage three clinical trials is where you gather your data. What the responsibility on everyone is, is to gather that data and report it. And if we're not gathering that data and reporting it, then how are we going to say that this is safe and approved for use? How come after 18 months we haven't had any it's, research? Isn't that fishy to you? It doesn't. It does. It, it is fishy. It's super it, fishy. It's not that it hasn't been done. It hasn't been published. <laughs> it hasn't probably uh, been I done because the, the government doesn't want to show that the darn vaccine is full of, is full of shit. What does she mean by full of shit? It's not doing what it, its purpose was. And what, did, what is Dr. McGee saying in that video? He's trying to defend the vaccine. Why would he do that? Because that's his view on it. Okay. His view is get the vaccine, it's science, right? If we all just get it, this will all be over with. Such a bunch of bullshit. And what do we do? I don't know, but there's so much I want to blow up. So much? How yeah. do we do that? Like, you know, Project Veritas. Why are you choosing to blow the whistle? It's not what a lot of people would do. They're scared, they're afraid. What prompted me to do this was when I was house supervisor one night and one of my co-workers had taken the vaccine and she didn't want to. She had went throughout this entire pandemic working in the intensive care unit. It pretty much was a COVID unit. Yeah, it's really sad. She had just come back from surgery from leave. Two weeks ago, a little over two weeks, 
and then um, got her first dose of vaccine after surviving this entire pandemic. She didn't want to take it. She didn't want to take it because of her religious beliefs. And she was coerced into taking it. And it's like, nobody, nobody should have to decide between their livelihood, being a part of the team in the hospital, or take the vaccine. Now, now, now we're just making people take it and then there's reactions to it and then you have a medication that has been shown effective and surely has no adverse reactions for trying it. Did um, Dr. Bakwa talk to you about prescribing ivermectin for not a lot of this facility. And so physicians can't um, prescribe off-label use medication here? Not for COVID, they did it with hydroxychloroquine and they, it was really bad and so they are not allowing it right now. She said yes, um, I would agree to write for this because she's not contraindicated. And Dr. Bagwa said that? Yes. I am, I am stuck. I am told you are absolutely not to use it under any circumstances whatsoever for somebody with COVID unless you don't want to have a job. I am not going to lose my job. Damn. They were not allowing, they were going to lose their job if they allowed you to use that drug. Right. Nuts. Right now, um, what is plaguing this country is the spirit of fear. Are you afraid? It's my career, you know, it's how I help people. Um, but am I afraid? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm afraid. Um, because my faith lies in God and not man. So I have um, two older kids that are on their own, and I have a 12-year-old at home um, that I care for on my own. You know, like, what kind of person would I be if I, if I knew all of this? This is evil. This is evil at the, the highest level. You have the FDA, you have the CDC, that are both supposed to be protecting us, but they are under the government. And everything that we've done so far is unscientific. Are you afraid they're gonna retaliate against you? Yeah. I'm a federal employee. What other federal employees do you see coming out? But you put your faith in God. Amen. How Deception Propaganda, a new book by James O'Keefe. Pre-order now at AmericanMuckRaker.com.